So uh, I went and picked up this uh, orbital sander whenever I was looking for this paint today, trying to get these pieces cut out, which uh, my, uh, my uh, visual angle of this one with this, I'll show you right now that uh, crystal meth is a, a bad drug, but this ain't crystal meth. This is agamon set sea salt. And I had lung problems before COVID from using and shooting and smoking drugs and uh, just having injuries, uh, injury to my left elbow that's caused a problem. Uh, if it wasn't for getting a hold of this and penicillin at the same time, I, I would be in bad shape because they'll give you blood thinners and they'll give you uh, blood pressure medication. You don't need any of that. You just need water, fruit, this sea salt from the solar evaporated sea and penicillin. But anyway, that's off the topic here. So uh, I was using this blade earlier to trim a screw out of the wall. I couldn't get out of the wall from a shelf like this. And as you can see, it just, uh, you know, this right here, I'm gonna hang on to, but this uh, came with my Dewalt tool, but this, uh, this thing is done. But I have another one that came with it. So I picked this up today. It's just one speed. It's called Hyper Tough. Uh, it came with 60, 120, and 80 grit, three pieces of sandpaper. But I bought this today uh, for $22 plus $5. It was uh, 29 bucks. So that's it. Uh, this is the state of Oklahoma and degeneracy. And recovering from 20 some odd years of degeneracy plus living with this injury of a broken elbow that nobody can fix or repair but the mayo clinic can for two hundred seventy five thousand dollars so we're going to skip past all this and this argument about gang banging and shit because when it comes down to it it's self-defense no matter who it is so right now this is how i'm doing this fabrication on here i started out with cardboard that i had from my tool that i bought off of amazon 